Lawrence Downs, nice to see you. Likewise. You write about a lot of things for the editorial page. You specialize in immigration. How has immigration played out in this election cycle? It's mostly played out in a lot of negative ads. There's a lot of, of attacks on candidates who committed the horrible sin of supporting bipartisan immigration reform, which is the last thing a lot of Republicans want these days. And a lot of scare tactics, scary, scary, scary ads, particularly in Nevada, that show swarthy, scary-looking brown-skinned men sneaking over the border. And unless we vote for Sharon Engel over Harry Reid, uh, we're going to be invaded. Tell me a little bit more about the Nevada race, because that really seems to be sort of ground zero for the immigration debate in the U.S. It's Harry Reid, who's the Senate Majority Leader, versus Sharon Angle, the Republican challenger. Sharon Angle represents the straight, solid Republican line in immigration, which has come to be enforcement only, close the border, deport them all. It's an insane position. It's a fairly new Republican line, too, isn't it? It's not what people like Lindsey Graham, uh, John McCain of Arizona have supported over the years. For, for a long time, uh, immigration reform was one of those few sort of bipartisan or semi-bipartisan issues in Washington where you could get a f at least a few Republicans siding with Democrats to do something smart. You know, yes, border enforcement is important, but you also have to do something about the people who are already here. So you have to find some way to legalize them because you're not going to deport them all unless you come up with some crazy $300 billion program to bus 11 million people out of the country and, and do God knows what to the economy and to those families. Where has President Obama been in the immigration debate? Obama has said all the right things. He wants comprehensive reform. He wants to you know, have a sane, rational approach to these things, but he's not this is not a battle that he's really waged very vigorously or forcefully, and he's certainly not led us to a place where we can actually get something done. He, he's, he's talked a very good game, and people like that, but he's not delivered. This is why there is a lot of talk about Latino voters being sort of disappointed and disenchanted and sort of demoralized from voting this year, because that was a big hope when he was elected that he was going to be the one to bring this whole issue over the finish line, and he hasn't. There has been a lot of talk about lower Latino turnout this election cycle, especially compared to the last one. What do you think is going to happen on election day, and specifically, what do you think is going to happen in Nevada? It's not completely irrational to believe that Latino voters would feel demoralized and not really energized to get out at the polls to, to vote again for a party that hasn't really done much for them. But there has been recent polling that shows that there may be a backlash to all this scapegoating and negative ads against um, illegal immigrants because Latinos could quite rightly conclude that a lot of this hostility is directed at them. So therefore, what the polls show is that enthusiasm among Hispanic voters is actually climbing, and we may see um, a, a, a surprise in a, in a state where during the presidential campaign the Latino vote was incredibly important at getting Obama elected.